Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, John Frame, with Systematic Theology. You know, John Frame is just, what can I say? He's a brain. When I was studying for a PhD in Christian philosophy and archaeology that was endorsed by some college in the UK, I can't remember. It was accredited. But, um, one of the books I had to read was by Frame, and I was so impressed with John Frame and his knowledge. So when this came out, I've been trying to kind of save up for this for quite a while. And it's done by Protestant and Reformed Publishing. Which, see, when I was in Christian book selling, Protestant and Reformed Publishing was really basically just like hardcore Calvinist stuff. They've since kind of expanded their line to almost what I would consider more mainstream stuff. And so this is a big book. Let's see if I can, where's my ruler at here? I mean, yeah, you can see this is a large book. This is like just below family Bible level. Looks like it's good. I wonder if it's, if it's my song. So John Piper recommends it. J.I. Packer, Al Moeller. Timothy George. I didn't know Timothy George was at uh, Beeson Divinity Sanford University. How about that? I like some of his stuff. Meticulous thinking and rigorous study uh, of the Bible for decades. He's given himself to the church, to his students, to meticulous thinking. Uh, so, now, I, let's see if it opens flat. Yeah, see, it's got to be Smith's own. So there's part 12, Doctrine of Christian Life. The pages, that's one of the first things I noticed. This is not normal paper. This is like some kind of semi-gloss paper, and I really like it. And it's not going to have ghosting. It's very large print. A lot of times, you get a big book like this, it'll be small print which is kind of a fascinating deal. And so let's look at this. This is what it looks like without the dust jacket. But it, it's going to have, uh, well, I'll show you in the back. A lot of good stuff in the back, but I'll show you what's in there as well. So one of America's most original theologians the last hundred years, most important and original. I would probably say that's true in a lot of ways. So the acts of the Lord, God's decrees. Now, the reason it's put out by uh, Protestant and Reformed is because it's going to be Reformed. It's going to be, he's going to be what we call Calvinistic. Eat the food, spit out the sticks. But now you may have come to that conclusion. Even Wayne Grudem, who's come out with some great systematic theologies, uh, really recommends this. So you can just kind of see. I mean, so you just start reading a book like this. People are like, well, you know, pastor, like, could you really read a book like this? Now, I've read several books, over 500 pages. Uh, several times, so many of them, multiple times. So what you do, okay, so this is, we'll just see. It's, uh, you know, 1,215 pages. This is index of subjects and names. I'll let you be looking at that. Um, so 1,200 pages. So if you make up your mind, you're going to read two or three pages a day which this is large print. You could probably easy do four pages a day in just a few minutes. Four pages a day. In less than a year, you've read this book. You know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? You, you don't sit there and say, I'm going to read the whole thing. So I'm glad to see what frame actually looks like. I've never looked what he looked like. Um, so he's got a bachelor's from Princeton. Uh, a degree from Westminster, Master of Arts, Master of Philosophy, Yale, Doctor Divinity, Bellhaven, and uh, how about that? He teaches at Reformed in Orlando.
It's the author of many books, including the four-volume Theology of Lordship series. Um, so let me just show you the index of Scripture. So the reason this is so handy, let's say you're not re you're using this as a reference book. You're not reading this through. So you just want to see, well, what does he say about Philippians 2.9? You just look it up here, and it's in the order of Scripture, and it'll tell you the different places. It may be multiple. It may be one. It may be none. Let's just see what he said about Philippians 2.9. Um, and you can look up all the places that he has Philippians 2.9. So Philippians 2.9 is... Uh, page 93 and page 912 okay so then you just look up there and it'd tell you about it but this is so good this would be an excellent textbook at uh, at college now it also another thing I like how practically so he gets into the most esoteric deep theological questions like Aquinas and then he has memory verses at the back you know, Ephesians 5, 8 through 11, Colossians. So that's just good. And then resources for further study, and that's great too. Uh, triads in Scripture, not the triad bicycle gang in Asia, but triads of Scripture. So this is a monumental thing. This will be in colleges, seminaries, and in pastors and theologians' library. This will be a staple. And just wanted to let you know that it is out here. Massive, magnificent. Uh, what a thing. Big picture thinking, level-headed reflection, biblical fidelity, a love for the gospel and the church, the ability to write with care and clarity. Yep, it's good. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.